Okay, so our first thing we do here is um, we determine the, the angle and the overall position of the steering head on the bike. Um, so that's the front end we're going to use. That's uh, GSX-R front end. Um, it's one of the new Showa forks. It's pretty good stuff. Like, works really nice, good brake system. And uh, what we did so far is basically we built the dummy. That's not a piece of the actual frame rate, it's just a dummy pipe which we prepared uh, to determine the, the position. Um, the actual frame looks similar to this. Um, we're using a really fat pipe up top here because we, this will be also the oil tank. Uh, so the oil will be in the frame. Um, the sports the engine has a few advantages. So um, if you look here up front, here are already cast in mounting points on the engine and uh, later our frame will attach here to these points so the frame will go down here and bolt up here and the advantage here is that we don't need to go all the way under the engine it's, it's fine if we just bolt on the cylinder head here and uh, we can also use these here to determine um, the angle and overall position of the steering head in relation to the engine uh, so what we did here so far is right now um, that angle, steering angle here um, is something I pre-calculated because um, I knew which forks I want to use so I used the length of the forks, wheel diameter and um, I estimated roughly the weight and size of the whole bike and then I used this data to uh, determine a steering angle already so these pieces are already fixed in the angle I calculated earlier and what we did right now is basically we, we moved the wheel up front um, to see how much space we need here to hold the engine, how much room we need uh, to realize the wheelbase we want. Because right now I could still move everything up front back. Um, so the position it is right now is roughly how it will be later. Um, now we're going to start, start to take measurements and uh, then we'll start to build the actual steering head already. And once the steering head is ready, we'll proceed and then build the back end of the frame. It's a step-by-step -step process.